Hey loves, first and foremost, let's go over the materials used to make these cut-off denim shorts and matching choker. Firstly, you'll need a pair of old high-waisted jeans. I ended up using a pair that I thrifted. You'll also need a quarter inch to 3 8 rhinestone trim for your pockets, a pen or marker, scissors, measuring tape, and E6000 adhesive. You're going to start by putting on your jeans and measuring your shorts length placement. Then you'll use your pen to mark your desired length. Next, you're gonna take off your pants and cut the shorts out. I made the back length a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure they weren't too short, especially since we're going to be fraying them, which will make them even shorter. Also make sure to make your lengths the same for each side. Then you're gonna cut slits about half an inch apart and one inch high, all the way around the hem of the shorts. Then you're going to cut out the entire pocket If you cut it a certain way, you'll be able to have your cutout and also have your pocket. Once you're done cutting out your pocket, you can get your tweezers ready. I ended up washing my shorts, which didn't make a difference with the fraying, so you can skip that step. All you have to do is take your tweezers and pull out the horizontal white threads, which will leave the vertical blue threads. It's a tedious process, but it's very simple and you'll love the results. It took me about an hour each leg. So now your shorts are pretty much done and you can either stop here or add rhinestones around the pocket trim like I did. You'll take your E6000 glue and line the pocket edge. Then you'll measure your rhinestone trim and make sure that it fits neatly between. Then you're gonna let those dry and you're done. It's a pretty simple task. For the choker, all I did was cut out a strip of denim from the old jeans. Then I measured a big enough piece for the choker. I then cut my slits evenly and applied the same fraying steps. Then I added rhinestone trim to the center of the choker. I cut off the excess material and added my choker closures. And if you wanna learn how to do this, you can watch my choker video, which I'll link in the description. And you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.